And you see uh, Frank Rubio on the right, Sergei Prokopiev in the middle, Dmitry Patelin on the left. Again, uh, the three crew members uh, posing for pictures uh, to the crowd of well-wishers in the parking lot of the Cosmonaut Hotel as they uh, prepared to board the bus, which they're doing. This again uh, took place several hours ago. And Frank Rubio settling in uh, several hours ago for the leak checks on his part of the NASA delegation uh, in the audience there across the uh, protective pane of glass. Uh, The crew members then left uh, the Site 254 integration building. And you'll see in a moment, uh, Prokopiev, the Soyuz commander, uh, reporting that he and his crewmates were ready to proceed to the launch pad. The launch pad having an opportunity uh, to say goodbye one final time uh, to well-wishers at the pad, as well as managers from NASA and Roscosmos before boarding the uh, elevator at the pad for the ride up to the top of the Soyuz 2.1A booster to board their spacecraft, which they've now been aboard uh, for a little over two hours. This in-cabin view showing uh, at the bottom of your screen, Sergei Prokopiev, the Soyuz commander, and at the top of your screen, Dmitry Patelin, Frank Rubio on the right of Prokopiev out of the field of view here. We are now 50 seconds from launch. The has retracted. This will initiate the auto sequence start. T minus 10 seconds and counting. We have engine start. Turbo pumps coming up to flight speed. Turbo pumps, flight speed, and, and liftoff. A sunset start to the mission of Rubio, Prokopiev, and Patelin to the International Space Station. Ten seconds. Flight is nominal. Good first stage performance reported from the blockhouse at Baikonur. The Soyuz delivering 930,000 pounds of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. L plus 20, L plus 20. Arcing out to the northeast from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. 35 seconds into the flight. Everything looking good so far. Good roll, pitch, and yaw program. Copy casual parameter off nominal. Correct. Affirmative. There's that. Jettison confirmed. And we've had uh, first stage separation. Nominal. Crew is feeling well. This is Mission Control Houston back here in the International Space Station Flight Control Room. Uh, the Orbit 2 team of flight controllers uh, now uh, proceeding on uh, to monitor the progress of the Soyuz MS-22 spacecraft to the International Space Station with docking scheduled just a little over three hours from now. The uh, launch, uh, as you just saw, occurred on time at 8.54 and 49 seconds a.m. Central Time.